Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's sitting is about consciousness. Dear brothers and sisters, we have to start being conscious about our lives. We have to start being aware that Allah is watching us every minute and every time. People die. People live. Babies born. Babies die. You get hungry, you eat, days come, night comes. This is how the cycle is. It's just flowing and flowing and flowing. Is this of no point, no use? You just eat, sleep, and that's it? Really? Eat, sleep, that's it? You have to open your, your eyes and open up your heart to the reality of life that you were created to worship Allah Azawajal. You were, Allah says in the Quran, I have not created jinns and human beings except that they should worship me. Are you being of that person who is worshipping their Lord in truth and in sincerity? Are you? Are you getting ready for that day when you have to meet your Lord? Are you? Are you being honest to yourself when you pray or you praying for the sake of Allah or you fasting for the sake of Allah or you're implementing Islam according to your own personal beliefs and view you work so hard to treat the guest when he comes over to your house the Prophet ﷺ spoke about whoever believes in Allah and the day of judgment he should do good to his neighbor are you doing good to your neighbor and destroying your, your, your good deeds in another way? Are you being good to the visitor that comes to your house? Giving him good things. Let him eat from your plate. Let him eat from your known dishes. And when he or she leaves your house, you backbite him? You backbite him? Is this being conscious of the day you're, you're going to meet your, meet your Lord? Is this being conscious? <laughs> this is a joke. And in this time and age, I see many Muslim brothers and sisters implementing Islam how they personally feel. Not how the Prophet has encouraged us to implement Islam. When will you take heed? When will you be conscious? When will you be aware? Allah Azawajal is the all-knower and the all-seer. You can't fool Allah. You can't fool your Lord. You can't trick him. He knows everything that you're doing from the beginning until the end. Don't be stupid. Don't follow the whispers of the shaitan. In the shaitan aduwan fattakhidu hu aduwa. Verily, the shaitan is your enemy, enemy, so you should take him as an enemy. Are you doing this? Are you putting your desires on the second burner and implementing the sunnah the way the Prophet ﷺ did it? Are you? Are you being conscious that when you backbite a brother, when you lie on someone, when you do something evil to someone is who is under authority, that Allah won't punish you in this life and most definitely hereafter? Are you conscious? Are you conscious? Are you conscious? Stop playing. Stop joking on yourself. You are the only one that will be deceived in this life if you go against the Quran and the Sunnah. The white and the black are clear. Everything is clear. We just have to prove the Prophet ﷺ in the way that he has taught us to implement Al-Islam. The Prophet ﷺ also said in a narration that he was anyone, everyone will enter Jannah except for the one that refuses. So the companion said, and who is this person that refuses to enter Jannah? The Prophet ﷺ responded, 
whoever obeys me enters Jannah. Look at that. Look at the saying of the Prophet ﷺ. Simple. The Prophet ﷺ said, pray on time, you pray on time. The Prophet ﷺ said, Sallu kama ra'aytamu salli. Pray the way that you see I'm praying. Are you praying the way that the Prophet ﷺ has ordered us to pray? And in that variation of the Prophet ﷺ where he said, Whoever obeys me enters Jannah. Whoever disobeys me, abai, meaning he refuses to enter Jannah. It's clear, it's simple, be conscious. It's clear. Try to make a change in your life today. Today, today, today. You never can tell when you will die. The Prophet ﷺ said also, Al-Kayyis man dana nafsahu wa ya'mal lima ba'da al-mawt. Okay, we call Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The sensible person is the one that gives an account of his own actions before the life after. Are you doing this? Or you're just shoving a sin? Watching movies. Watching movies. Listening to music. Looking at women that are not permissible for you to look at. Listening to music again, backbiting. Fighting your own brothers and sisters for your own personal and evil needs. When will we wake up? When will we be conscious? When? 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 We have to take a step, brothers and sisters. Every day, every minute, we are losing. We are returning to Allah. Zawajal. Are we prepared for that day? Are we prepared to meet our Lord and give an account for what we have done? Are we? Are we? Are we? Thanks for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.